Ni mai dong ma atong norotarang. Welcome to Atong Spelling Lesson 8, The Appropriate Form of Meaningful Parts, Part 1. In this lesson, we will learn that most meaningful parts have just one written form, that the written form stays the same when you combine meaningful parts when spelling words, that the pronunciation may sometimes be different from the spelling, and that Atong spelling is very clear. Here we see a sentence. Let's read it. Song damsachi al siaraja mengsa ganang no chem. Let's see how many meaningful parts there are in this sentence. There are 11 meaningful parts in this sentence. Here you see them all separately. The meaningful parts are song, dam, sa, chi, al sia, raja, meng, sa, ganang, no, and chem. As we have learned before, words with more than one meaningful part are simply combinations of all the meaningful parts written together. The meaningful parts always keep the same form in the spelling. So, when we put all the meaningful parts together again to make the sentence, we get six words. Song, damsachi, alsia, raja, mengsa, and ganang no chum. Here we see the different meaningful parts that make the words in different colors. The word song has one meaningful part. The word damsachi has three. The words alsia and raja have one meaningful part each. The word mengsa has two. And the word ganang no chum has three meaningful parts. Let's put some other meaningful parts together to make words and see what happens. Here you see a list of meaningful parts. When you put them together from top to bottom, you get two short sentences. Try to say the two short sentences. The solutions will be given in a short while. As you can see, there are 15 meaningful parts in total in the two sentences. When we write them together, they form six words, one word in the first sentence, and five words in the second sentence. Here we see the same sentences. The meaningful parts in the words are separated by hyphens. Now let's do an exercise, an exercise in writing. Please get a pen or pencil and a piece of paper ready. Exercise 1. Make sentences with meaningful parts. You will see meaningful parts in a table. Put them together to make words and sentences. For example, you will see these meaningful parts. Rang, wa, ai, mu or meng, ye, rong, rimmel and a. Combine the meaningful parts to make words and a sentence. Like this. Rang wai mu, ye rong rimmel la in Siju dialect. Or... Rang wai meng ye rong rimela in Badri dialect. There will be six sentences in this exercise. Each table will be shown for six seconds, so pause the video when necessary. Ready? Here we go. Sentence one. Solution. Biskutau sa graici hen ceng cido jam zolarini. Sentence 2 Solution Biskutau sa grai chi hen cheng ai mu de eu do jam mok or Biskutau sa grai chi hen cheng ai meng de eu do jam mok Sentence 3 Solution Atong kuk chukaw ne mai pore chido nang ba ul nasap ni. Sentence 4 Solution Atong kuk chukaw ne mai pore ay mu sapok or Atong kuk chukaw ne mai pore ay meng sapok. Sentence 5 Solution. 
na ame gam ku chukau ma English ku chukau rakalai nuka. Sentence 6 Solution Me gam ku chuk do rakka atake mu English ku chuk do rakka or Me gam ku chuk do rakka atake meng English ku chuk do rakka Exercise jammok As you may have noticed, there may be a difference between the spellings and the pronunciations of some words. These differences are especially obvious when you speak slowly and they may disappear completely when speaking faster. We will focus on the words with the chadl or roots, jam, sap and rak. Here you see an analysis of the meaningful parts of the words jamni, jamok, sapni, sapok, rakcha and rakka, which we have written in the exercise. All these words have two meaningful parts namely a chadl followed by a pansok, as we can see here. The kata chadl jam plus the pansok ni make the word jam ni. In the same way, jam plus ok make the word jamok. When you say it slowly, it may sound like jamok. And that is fine, but there is no need to write an extra letter ma. The meaningful parts in the word keep their appropriate forms. The pronunciation may vary. The chadl sap plus the pansok ni make the word sapni, just like sap plus ok make the word sapok. When you pronounce it slowly, it may sound like sapok, which is perfectly okay, but there is no need to write an extra letter pa. The chadl rak plus the pansok a make the word raka, which may sound like rakka when you say it more slowly, but there is no need to write an extra letter ka. The meaningful parts in the word are written in their appropriate forms one after the other, but the pronunciation may be different. This is no problem, it is natural. The spelling very clearly shows the meaningful parts of the words. Let us do another exercise. Exercise 2. Again, make sentences with the meaningful parts. You will see meaningful parts in a table, put them together to make words and sentences just like before. There will be eight sentences in this exercise. Each table will be shown for six seconds, so pause the video when necessary. Ready? Here we go. Sentence seven. Solution. Naa ang na nang mi gore jal nara kalgabaw hin at bo. Or, naa ang na nang mang gore jal nara kalgabaw hin at bo. Sentence 8 Solution Teng tondo palang chisa mu sa wokno, nok sa wokno. Sentence 9 Solution Teng tondo get teng mung nokao song mung morot sa wokba miyao ha ta para hangalao jumuso wai dong anuro. Sentence 10 Solution Uchie Nangtum ang nokao sa guba ang nangtum ang metel biok Sentence 11 Solution Umungdo marsja so may drangchi wa cham sa wa or, umido marsja so may darangchi wa cham sa wa. Sentence 12 Solution Jang lang ay mukan sang do jang gaba mi atakay ulurukok no. Or, jang lang ay mungkan sang do jang gaba mung atakay ulurukok no. Sentence 13 Solution Maga chak chan nai jalai mu nukang chak or Maga chak chan nai jalai mung nukang chak 
Sentence 14. Solution. Bisang raiwa chum. Nang ao piwa raiyak. Exercise jammo. As you have noticed, there may be a difference between the spelling and the pronunciation of some words. This difference is caused by the raka. We will focus on words with the chaddal hen, sao, jan, and rai. Here you see an analysis of the meaningful parts of the words hen net, sao wok, sao gaba, sao wa, sao wa, jan gaba, jan nai, rai wa, rai ya, which we have written in the exercise. All these words have two meaningful parts. One chaddal followed by a pansok, as we can see here. The chaddal hen plus the pansok et make the word hen net. As you may hear, the n sound of the kata chaddal hen is repeated after the raka. This is normal pronunciation, but there is no need to write an extra letter na before the pansok et. In the same way, there is no need to write an extra letter wa in the word sao wok, even though in the pronunciation the sound w is repeated between the kata chaddal sao and the pansok ok. The pansok ok starts with a vowel, in this case the vowel o. In the word sao gaba, the pansok gaba starts with a consonant, namely the consonant ga. In this case, the w of sao is not repeated after the raka. In both words, sao wok and sao gaba the meaningful parts keep their appropriate forms and there is no need to write an extra letter wa. Of course, when the following pansok is wa, you have to write sao wa with two letters wa. This word sounds exactly the same as the word sao wa, which has the pansok a in it. The spelling is always clear about the meaningful parts. The same goes for the words jan gaba and jan nai. There is no need to write an extra letter na anywhere. The structure of the words is jan plus gaba and jan plus ai. The form of the kata chaddul is always jan, but the na sound is repeated in the pronunciation if the following pansok starts with a vowel. In the words rai wa and rai ya, we can hear that the sound y is not repeated when the following pansok starts with a consonant, rai wa. But in the word rai ya, the sound y is repeated after the raka because the following pansok starts with a vowel. The kata chaddal are hen, sao, jan, and rai. When followed by a pansok that starts with a vowel, the consonant you see before the raka is repeated after the raka in the pronunciation, but not in the spelling. The meaningful parts in the words are written in their appropriate forms one after the other, but the pronunciation may be different. This is no problem, this is natural. So, when combining meaningful parts to make words, meaningful parts are written in their appropriate forms. The spelling shows very clearly which meaningful parts the words have. The pronunciation may be a bit different, but that is not a problem. That is the way Atong is spoken. The words jamok, sapok and raka have the meaningful parts jam, sap and rak, followed by the meaningful parts ok and Ah. How can we know that there are no meaningful parts jam, sap or rak and that there are no meaningful parts mok, pok or ka? Well, we can do a replacement test. We can replace the pansok meaningful part ok or a by ni, cha or wa. We get jam ni and not jam ni. We get sap cha and not sap cha. Rakwa and not rakwa. The last consonant of the chaddal is not long. It may only be pronounced long, but also short, when it is between two vowels, as in jamok, which may be pronounced as jamok or jamok. We can do a test to see that the meaningful parts mok, pai or ka do not exist. When we insert the meaningful part bebe between the chaddal and the pansok, which we want to test, we see that the appropriate forms of the pansok are ok, ai and a. Correct is jambebeok and not jambebimok. Correct is sabbebeok and not sabbebepok. 
correct is also rakbibiya. Wrong is rakbibika. We can do a similar test to find the appropriate forms of the meaningful parts in words like hnet, sawok, and raya. When we replace the pansok et, ok, and a by ku, cha, and wa, there is no more extra consonant in the pronunciation. Hn ku, sao cha, rai wa. The form of the kata cha dul is actually hn, sao, and rai. The consonant of the cha dul before the raka is only repeated in the pronunciation after the raka when the pansok starts with a vowel. We can test that the pansok net, wok, and ya do not exist but that their appropriate forms are really et, ok, and a. We replace the kata del hn, sau, and rai by bal, nuk, and pet. The correct results are baletok and not balnetok, nukok and not nukwok, petani and not petiyani. We have seen that the pronunciation and the spelling are sometimes different. Because of this, we need some spelling rules. From what we have learned so far, we can make three spelling rules. Spelling rule 1. When one meaningful part ends in a consonant and the next meaningful part starts with a vowel, we do not write a double consonant in between the vowels. The correct spellings are jamok, sapok, raka. There is no need to spell an extra consonant. This extra consonant can only appear in the pronunciation, but not in the spelling. The forms of the meaningful parts are always the same. We can see the meaningful parts in the analysis. Spelling rule 2. When one meaningful part ends in a consonant and the next one starts with the same consonant, we write the two consonants together. Examples are du wa, gasammi, sakubo, sengetiryokno. We can see the meaningful parts of these words in the analysis. Spelling rule 3. When a root ends on i raka, wa raka, ma raka, na raka, or naga raka, followed by a meaningful part that starts with a vowel, we do not repeat the letters i, wa, ma, na, or na, ga after the raka in the spelling. The correct spellings are rai ya, sao wet, kam ma, hen net, sang net, mil la. There is no need to spell an extra consonant after the raka. In this lesson, we have learned that when combining meaningful parts to make words, Meaningful parts are written in their appropriate forms. We can find the appropriate forms by doing tests. The spelling shows very clearly which meaningful parts the words have. The pronunciation may be a bit different, but that is no problem. That is the way Atong is spoken. There are other ways in which the spelling and the pronunciation can be different. In the next lesson, we will look some more at the appropriate forms of meaningful parts. Chat gukabakam jamo, chai gabao metella. Sungabaganang chido, ma atongba balna sik chido, ee pidio cha machiga nangaba saigaba hapchi sayari bo. Ee pidio au nem nukwachi, like button chi sik debo. Wal nam.